being very specific and very negative. You can go more general. Let's say your spouse is being lousy today, or your boss is being lousy today, and it feels really bad and you're really upset. But if you think about it, this is today. Most days are better than that. That's more general, less negative. You feel better like that. So when you start using this process and you do it, at first you have to think about it. And, and the way to think about it is think, how am I feeling? How am I feeling? My boss just ripped me a new one in front of a whole bunch of people and I didn't like it. I don't like that. So you think about it. How can I feel better? And you get in the habit of doing that pretty soon your actual automatic response feels better than it would have felt in the past. And when you're doing that, then the really bad thing happens and you're not going in that automatic. You're, you're, if the shooter is now shooting and you're in the old you, your brain, your, your um, primary brain would have taken over and you'd get out of the way. But now, your brain is actually looking for solutions because you've trained it to always look for solutions. And so you see a table, and you turn the table over, and you grab that pregnant woman, and you both get behind the table, maybe. Or you see what I'm saying? You actually have the capacity to think because your brain hasn't taken you on that primitive path. It really makes a huge difference when you practice and Pay attention to how you feel, and then reappraisal is one of the most powerful tools anybody has. Because we're often thinking that the way we're looking at something is right, and it is right from the perspective we're looking at it. But if we turn and we look at it from a different angle, then it looks different. The, the boss that makes you upset, or doesn't make you upset because it's your perspective that makes you upset, but the boss who does something that you have to soothe yourself about that behavior. Maybe their son just got beat up at school. You know, so there's there's always our society tends to speak and talk on this surface level. And we don't look at the layers below. And there's always another layer below. So when you I've gotten ahead of myself, but when you start looking and using your brain in that way, over time it changes. I'll, I'll give you an example. It's it's not on a script, but I'll go off script. I have, a, I have a dear girlfriend. I've known her about 20 years. We used to think a lot alike before I knew this stuff. And when my youngest daughter went to college, she decided to go to a small school in Tennessee where her sister was going. And she went for one semester and said, I don't, I don't like it here. I want to come home. I want to go to UNC Charlotte. So I said, fine. And I'm thinking, it's less expensive, there's more majors, she can take care of her dog again. So I'm looking at all these positive aspects. And then I talked to my girlfriend. She says, aren't you pissed when she decided to come home? She was like, I, I racked my brain, why would I be angry? And, and I finally had, why would I be angry? She said, well, you had the house to yourself, and you had to move her there, and I had to move her back. So she had all these things lined up that she would have been angry if it had been her daughter. But that, the, the big thing is, is that that is how I would have thought about the situation before I learned to do this. But she's doing negative self-talk, you're doing positive self-talk. Yeah, but, but most, <coughs> most of us are not, we're, most people are in neutral or negative. Most people are not in the deliberately positive, because our society doesn't support that too much. But the research shows that your immune function, your cognitive function, your digestive function, and your central nervous system, and your relationships, and your career success are all better when you do focus on the positive. So every aspect of life that I think is important. Um, well, Janine just showed me that if you read a lot of these books, they, they all basically say the same thing. And they say because if you don't fill your, if you don't fill your mind, Let's say you just let your mind go. It's yes. going to fill us up with negative thoughts. And, and the reason that, that at least this particular or groups of authors seem to repeat, because they all seem to say the same thing all the time, <laughs> is that we live in a negative world. So the negative thoughts will take over. You have to literally force them out with positive thoughts. But what are most people doing on a daily basis? They're so busy that the thoughts just pile in there. So if somebody cuts you off, you may say, boy, that, you know. But you may be thinking, 
they may just they could be late for work. They could be, uh, you know, mm -hmm. we don't we never think that extra step and say, you know, I've done that sometimes. Yeah. I've done the same thing, but our first reaction is the negative one because that's we're we're ingrained to think that. It's way. actually your habit of thought is what it is because thoughts are habits, beliefs are habits. When you when you have a habit of thought, that's what's going to come in. But just like any habit, you can change that habit of thought. I don't have the slide for that because this is kind of going in a different direction. But think about a, a, a bullseye, and you've got the center circle, and then you've got circles coming out from it. The center circle are, is your beliefs. And most of your beliefs were established by age six. And then when you come out from beliefs, you've got your thoughts. And then you've got your identity. Who are you? Because who you think you are determines a lot of what you actually do. And it goes out from that with behavior on the outside. And if you try to change the behaviors without changing those inner beliefs, you're, it, it takes willpower. And that uses your energy, and it's difficult. When you start with changing the beliefs, and you can do it one step at a time. The person who cuts you off on traffic, that is something that a lot of people experience irritation every single day about that. So, what I did is I just decided that everybody who cuts me off in traffic, you cut but, them. no, they have a good reason. I get, I, I give them the benefit of the doubt. I give them the benefit of the doubt. Their wife has just called. She's in labor, or whatever. It doesn't matter, and, and it, it's not true. It must be more married than you. Yeah, and it, it's not true. It doesn't have to be true because. It just has to make you feel better about it so that you're not irritated every day when you drive to work and every day when you drive home. And giving everybody the same thing 